The Lord is my shepherd, that I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I never got I to say goodbye. I know. Comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Orphans now. <laughs> no, you have me. Remember when she suddenly kissed our guide in Machu Picchu? <laughs> she only did what we all wanted to do. <laughs> my friends, my friends, I'd like to make a toast to my two stepdaughters who have suddenly lost their mother. May we all offer ourselves in support to them through the rough times ahead to Seal and Emily. You're both like my own daughters. I also would like to thank them for the beautiful floral arranging that they've done for us on this day. I'm sure that they'll pass out their business cards for any of you that are interested. <laughs> Charles. How are you girls doing? Are you okay? We're okay, but more importantly, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Need a new job, I suppose. No, Peter will keep you on, won't he? I don't think so, honey. But you don't need to worry about me. Everyone, I'm at the piano. Please, your attendance. In honor of Catherine's incredible spirit, I would like to play for you her favorite song. I'd like to do that now. Nights in white satin, never reaching the end. Letters I've written, never meaning 
to send Cause I love you, yeah Now what? We move on, like we did when Dad died. Will you have to sell the business? No, of course not. We were taught to work for a living, right? What about the house? Well, Peter will live there for two years and then we can sell it. It doesn't really bother me. Why does it bother you? I guess not. It just seems unfair. Well, what's unfair about it? He made out like a bandit seal. All right, she had a sudden heart attack. Come on, Emily, do not go there. You're tired. I think these would be lovely. Yes, I'll take them, they're beautiful. Right. Uh, is that cash or charge? Charge, please. Okay. Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. Uh, just sign here. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Why go out to eat if you're just gonna text the whole time? Maybe they're sexting. With each other? Yeah, why not? It's like a thing now. A woman came into the shop today to get flowers for a friend who had a heart attack. Yeah, and? She looked a lot like mom. Oh, oh thank God. Why do I do that? You know I hate olives. I always forget to say no olives. Did you hear what I said? Yes, the woman looked like mother. Can we stop talking about it, please? I'm just sick of being sad all the time. Plus we have other things to worry about, like the fact that we've been living together for eight years. I love you too. I mean, don't you think it's a little weird though? Don't you want babies someday running around in your own house? <laughs> babies, I don't see that in my future right now. That is exactly what you need. You need babies. Ew. Yeah. Oh my God. Look who's here. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Uh. Hi, Peter. Seal, Emily. How come you two never stop by? Charles misses you in a bad way. So do I. I'm Suzanne. No, oh, no, <laughs> my manners. Suzanne, Mrs. Seal, and Emily, my two beautiful stepdaughters. How are you, Peter? I see you've been doing well, apparently. Actually, Seal, I'm uh, not doing too well. It's been very, very difficult for me, but I'm managing to move on. The question is, how are you two holding up? We're fine, Peter. Taking it one day at a time. You know
know what, Emily? We actually should go visit Charles. Maybe look through some of Mom's old stuff. We've been putting it off for too long. That's an excellent idea. I think that would be very, very healing for both of you. Please, just call anytime you want to stop by the house. You know you're both welcome. Always. We gotta go. Mm-hmm. We have some important antique business to discuss. Mm-hmm. So have a lovely meal. Bye. Okay. Wasn't she at the... Yeah, the funeral. God, what do you make of that? I don't know. But she's definitely not in the antique business. I go. I kind of lost my appetite. Yeah, me too. Can we have our check, please? <sighs> Would you like to join us? Are you okay? I heard screaming. Yeah, I just had the creepiest dream about Peter and Mother. Okay, we'll talk about it in the morning. I have company. Oh. Good afternoon. Sorry. So how was your evening with Justin? A few years your junior, huh? Perhaps you should try it sometime, Em. You seem a little locked up. I have more important matters to attend to. Oh, yeah? Like what? Holding on to our mother's ghost for the rest of your life? You would, too, if you had the dream I had last night. Oh, I had a dream. I'm just not telling. Ugh, I can't believe you can be horny at a time like this. We're grieving. Well, you grieve your way, and I'll grieve my way. Fine. You can take care of things here while I go play. Fine. Go. Aren't those pretty? You should take those. They're on sale. see inside that there's a picture of Jesus' face. Here, let me show you the back of the lights back. Here, don't step on the snake. Something I can help you with, miss? I don't know. How do I find out if someone has a record? Well, that depends. Has this person broken the law? I think murder is breaking the law. 
Hey, Officer Morgan, I think I can take over from here. Thanks a bunch. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Maybe. Oh, I'm Detective Fry. Emily Scott. Pleasure. My sister and I think our mother was murdered. Well, she doesn't, but I do. Okay, what would make you think that? She married a man 20 years younger than her. She was perfectly healthy, and then one day she just drops dead of a heart attack. Sorry to hear. It turns out this guy used to be a pharmaceutical sales rep. So, pharmaceutical sales, you, um... <laughs> it's, you know what? It's fine. Thank you. Wait, where are you going? No, it's okay, Detective. I'm Thank you. Sorry, I... Uh, she's not your usual type. Shouldn't have chased her away, though. Okay, Hennessy, what is my usual type? Millions of piercings, black eye makeup, daddy issues. No. Thank you for noticing. Hey, I'm just saying, don't be so picky. I'm not picky. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are, too. No, I'm not. And this conversation is over. Let's go close some cases. Lock up when you leave. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Thrive. Oh, great. Are you looking for anything in particular? No, I'm I'm Emily Scott. Um, I'm actually doing a story on successful antique dealers oh. in town. my finger off. Sorry. Can you sit down? Can I get a Band-Aid? Do you know what Peter did before he was in the antique business? No, and I don't want to know. He was a pharmaceutical sales rep. Oh, wow. He wasn't a secret agent? Laugh all you want. I see the connection, even if you don't. What connection? He sold drugs to hospitals, to doctors. Mom had a heart attack, Emily. I don't think it was that simple. Oh, my God. Can we please forget about him? Our inheritance is taken care of. We never have to see the guy again. He might have tampered with her medication. I don't want to talk about it. You suspect it too, you just don't want to believe it. I said I don't want to talk about it. I'm not done talking about it. Look, the guy might look and act like a creepy game show host, but it doesn't mean he's a killer. Seal, I had another dream the other night. Well, dreams are just dreams, Emily. I went to the police today. You did what? Don't worry, I think they thought I was nuts. <sighs> you are nuts. So, this is the piece, and I, I think it would be wonderful. I mean, it's got the blues, and it's got the oranges, it's got the hues that we need. And then I think... It's a lovely it, piece. Oh, yes. <laughs> it would be lovely in our foyer. Shall we wrap it up? No, no. I, I think we're going to wait a bit, you know, with the economy and everything. I think we're just looking, thank you. Okay. Well, take your time. Feel free to thank you. look around. I didn't know you to sell drugs. What? To doctors, I mean, legit stuff. How did you know that? Um, some reporter was in here asking about you. Um, Selma had a chat with her. Where is she? Who? Oh. Selma. In the back, I think. Uh, Oh, 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 good, it's you, Mr. Mahoney. Yeah. I don't know how to price this land. Well, we'll decide on that later, okay, Selma? Mm -hmm. Did someone come in last night and ask about me? Oh, yes, a very nice young woman. I hope it's okay. I told her you worked in a bank and that you were a medicine salesperson. You were, right? You told me that a few months ago. She was a writer. She said she was writing an article about successful antique dealers in town. 
<laughs> what did she look like? Pretty. Kind of thin, with light brown hair. Late 20s, maybe. It's hard to tell these days. I don't think she had any tattoos or anything. <laughs> kind of a refreshing young lady. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, did I? No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you didn't. Okay. Just do me the favor mm. and always ask me before you tell people stuff about my background, okay? Oh, yes, yes. I am so sorry, Mr. Mahoney. Mm -hmm. Well, don't worry. No. We won't talk about it anymore. Okay. Okay? Yes, of course. Just do me a favor and don't do it again. Oh, no. <laughs> okay? Okay, you can go get a sandwich now. Thank you. Yes, I agree. We find that daycare worker when we locate the perp. Nice work, Jess. Oh, hey, uh, Jess, I gotta go. Something just came up. Who's the perp at the daycare center? Do I even want to know? Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> um, have a seat. How'd you get back here, anyway? Uh, the guy, Hennessy, said I could come back here. Ah, Hennessy. <laughs> I have a question for you. Of course. Shoot. What does it take to exhume a body? A warrant and a very good reason. Okay, well, this may sound crazy, and it may turn out to be completely trivial, but my mother died in January. They said it was a heart attack, but it was just a mitral valve thingy. It wasn't a big deal. Did the ME do an autopsy? No, supposedly she didn't want one. What was the official cause of death? Heart failure. And uh, was anyone with her when she died? Yes, Peter Mahoney. He's an antique dealer. And yes, I did Google him a lot. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Like I said before, he's a pharmaceutical sales rep before he met my mother. He had a lot to gain. I mean, he was 20 years younger than her. And you think he may have given her some pills to cause her heart attack? Maybe. I don't know. Am I crazy? No, not at all. You're concerned. Um, by any chance, did you happen to bring Peter Mahoney's information with you? Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, thank you. All right. You know, I'm really not supposed to be doing this, but uh, I'll run a background check for you. Great. What's the best way to contact you? Uh, here you go. That's mine. Oh, you're a florist. Yeah. So you'll call me if you find anything. I will. Okay, great. Have an awesome day. Thanks. Awesome day? What am I saying? I feel like playing Clue tonight, Emily. Don't you want to know what he said? Nope. He's gonna run a check on Peter. He's gonna help us, Seal. That's because he wants to get in your pants. He's not like that. Will you stop being so naive? You know, I really think this is gonna be the last straw between us. I know it. Maybe I just think we should sell the business and separate. We are not selling the business. We're gonna make whoever killed our mother pay for it. What are you doing? You haven't smoked in years. Oh, you know I'm gonna start, because you're driving me to it. You're not smoking, you're not drinking. We need to be centered right now, okay? Really? Do I have to be celibate too? Because that's not happening. Don't you care about your mother? You know, sometimes I don't miss her at all. She could be a real pain. I'm going running. Good for you. It's about time you started to exercise. It'll help you relax and maybe move on. Running doesn't mean I'm giving up.
Can I run with you for a minute? Hey, Peter, sure. I'm not in as good a shape as you are. How come you're checking up on me, Emily? You know I'm an open book, view and seal. What are you talking about? Can we sit on just a little bit? What is it you want to know about me? Just ask. I'll be happy to tell you. Nothing, nothing, Peter. I'm just doing a family genealogy and working on a family history. Oh, and you're including my family. How nice. Well, I can tell you everything about me if you really want me to. I mean, I feel like, you know, you and I get along pretty well if we try. Let go of my arm. Oh, it's nice seeing you, Em. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, we watch the desk. Damn. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, sorry, detective. I tried to stop her. Oh, don't worry, Officer Morgan. She's a friend. Come on in. Have a seat. You have to do something. He followed me. Who? In the park. Who followed you? Peter. The Mahoney guy? The Mahoney guy, yes. Did you check up on him? Yes, I found out a little bit. Uh, he moved around a lot, and uh, I know he was married before. He's... He... Huh. Oh. You don't know he was married? No, I was not aware of that. Well, I'm gonna lock down who she was in a little bit. Um, so, what did he say to you? He asked me why I was checking in on his past. And what did you say? I said I was doing a genealogy thing, a family history project. I know it's really stupid. He, he was threatening me. How did he threaten you? He grabbed my arm and he got in my face and he said something creepy about us getting closer. He was sniffing me or something. Okay, listen, I really need you to stay away from this guy. All right, now I'm gonna do a little more fact checking and I'll give you a call. But as far as for right now is concerned, let's just keep this between us. Okay. Why are we keeping it between us? Because we don't exactly have enough to open up an official case yet. But it's okay, it's just normal procedure. As soon as I have something, I am gonna do something about it. Okay. Thank you for helping me. Us. No problem. Be careful. So he's been married before. It's not like that's illegal. But why didn't we know about it? Because he didn't want us to know. What else don't we know? Other things he doesn't want us to know. You're being really obsessive about this. Do you know that? Am I obsessing or do I just want to know what happened to her mother? Oh, you mean the one who had a heart attack? Okay, sorry, that wasn't funny. Look, he checked up on you because you checked up on him. And he's been married before, but that doesn't mean you have to arrest the guy. <sighs> Shit, did it again. Look, I don't know how to describe it, but his behavior was really odd. Yeah, him running is just odd. Yeah, especially in a suit. What? Yeah, he looked ridiculous. Ugh, what a goon. Well, you're cops on it, right? He's not my cop. And no, we don't even have a case yet. Well, it's good that he's into you. I don't know that he's into me. Sure he is. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. <sighs> oh, and with your best, that's a compliment. Oh, I don't know <sighs> what you're talking about. <sighs> oh. Okay, so, what's up with the Snape sisters? I think I got to Emily this morning. She's timid. She's not gonna go anywhere with any of this. Mm, I don't know. You have to watch out for the timid ones. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> yes, but seriously, what about the other one? She doesn't seem like a little flower. She's meaner. I've handled worse. Really? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. That's okay, Charles. It's not like we're in the act or anything. I was just wondering if you still need me anymore this afternoon, sir. No, I don't think so. You sure? Yeah. 
Hey, why don't you take a couple bills? I'll treat you to lunch. No, thank you, sir. I can buy my own lunch. Treat yourself. <laughs> I think you offended the help. Like I care. No, you bad boy. I'm gonna fire him, oh. but not right now. It wouldn't look good. Say, chow kai tang. Just a few more months, okay? I gotta go to work now. Okay. And then we can get out of here. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> can see right? Right uh, there. <laughs> <okay. laughs> All right. Here, we'll just hold on to that, okay. and we'll we'll play some more. Okay. Can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, no. I'm just looking around. Um, but uh, you have some really wonderful stuff here. Hmm. Thank you. Well, I'll let you browse in peace. Just let me know if you have any questions. I will. Where were we? Ah. Let me show you this. This is an obelisk of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, ancient Egyptian. And if you can see right on the bottom, it's some scrap here. This might help again. Just take a look. Hey. Hi, I'm working. There's no one here. Yeah, you should have seen it an hour ago. Oh yeah, busy bee. Yep. Hi. Hi. Hey, so when do I get to meet your sister? I don't want you to meet her. She's the pretty one. Yeah, but I bet she can't do that thing you do with your tongue. Emily, this is Justin. Oh, hey. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Justin. I've heard a lot. All bad, I hope. I have to talk to you about this morning. What about this morning? It's private. Anything you can say to me, you can say to Justin. He knows all about your suspicions of stepdaddy. It's true. I know all about it. Hmm. I don't want to talk about this now, but I'm going to meet Charles tonight, and I think you should come along. Whoa, you're going to Peter's house? Our house. Peter and Buffy are out for the night, and I'm going to take a look around. Well, we have plans, right? Mm -hmm. But Emily, please don't. Sorry. Bye. Nice to meet you. My sister's crazy. Coming! Coming! Hi! Hi. No one's here, right? Right as me. No seal? I'm afraid not. Seal thinks I'm wasting my time. You let me talk to her about that man. I'll straighten her out. That's fine. I just want to get this over with. Sure thing. What are you looking for? Maybe I can help. Anything that doesn't belong here. I don't know exactly. Pills? change your mind about the movie? Yeah. We decided we'd rather blow each other up than watch a stupid Hollywood movie do the same. I thought you were going out. I still am. Just running a little late. Some wine, maybe? No, thanks. Are you all right, Charles? Oh, yeah. Right as rain. You bet. For your Valerian steel? Oh, yes, my lord. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, Hennessy. Hey, just the heads up, the captain is asking about what we're working on. Duly noted, Hennessy. Hey, we got a lot of work. Why don't you get your dick out of your work? Thank you so much for your candor, Hennessy. I very much appreciate it.
Jeez, what happened to you? I haven't heard of most of these. Did you come home last night? I'm afraid not. Wait, did you? I spent the night in mom's closet, grabbed these out of the bathroom. I had to listen to Peter and Suzanne act out a scene from Game of Thrones. It was terrifying. Wow, you are dedicated. I will give you that. What are you doing? The roses have aphids and the nicotine is eating through the paper. Call 911. Jesus, it's nice to see you too. We refuse service to you. Don't do that. Get, get off her! I've got to help the men you two end up with. Or the women, for that matter. Hey, I'll have you know, Seal has a boyfriend, and I think I might too, and he happens to be a cop. You two have been snooping around in my private life, and you've been harassing my honey bunny, and I don't like it. You two spoiled shits need to learn some manners. Ow! Don't you think you two are overreacting just a little bit? Tell us, Peter, do you have anything to do with our mother's death? I don't know. Does begging an old broad cause a heart attack? Oh, hey. What are we celebrating? I think it's a little early to be drinking, isn't it? No, no. Ah. I wouldn't drink. To the modern day Snoop sisters. A couple of uptight bitches that couldn't attract the fly. I said I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Quite the invention, isn't it? Huh? Oh. You all right? It looks like you've seen a ghost. It's nothing. What's up? We got that tape. Okay, I'll be there in a second. barf any minute. Well, if you do, can you do it in the sink? I've had just about enough gross for one day. Oh, what is he doing here? Oh, God, what do we do? Uh, don't leave me. Hi. Is everything okay? We just heard some loud noises. Oh, everything is fine. We just dropped a big vase, made a huge mess, spilled some pesticides. I can send my wife over to help you clean up. Oh, that is so nice, but really, everything's fine. Well, okay. I'm sorry, we won't do it again, but I love your food. Bye. Ew. God, maybe you should have come in and helped us. Are you nuts? Yes, and apparently so are you. Ugh, I don't care, I'm just glad this douchebag's dead. Really? Yeah, he was terrible. So you believe me now? Yeah, I guess. What comes around goes around, right? I've never heard of karma being used as defense in a case before. We have to call the police, tell them it was some sort of accident. Well, it was sort of an accident. A sort of self-defense. It was an accident, Celia. I feel like I'm in first grade. Can you please not call me Celia? 
the cops are gonna wanna know why we didn't stop him from drinking the stuff. Why didn't we? I was too scared. So it is self-defense. I mean, it's definitely not murder one. <sighs> What's after murder one? <laughs> Will you stop? We didn't kill him. Well, it's just as well you become friends with our local cop. He's not my friend. Shit, I need to call him back. You know what, maybe that'll help. Guys will do anything to get laid. If you sleep with him, maybe he won't turn you in. You're disgusting. I'm not a slut. Yeah, I have to get rid of Justin too. I just gotta have to figure out how. Meanwhile, we won't keep him here until we figure out a new spot for him. How long do you think he'll keep in there? Until we decide what to do. We just tell our customers he's part of an arrangement. <laughs> Detective Bryce yes. Fry, I am not in the station right now. If this is an emergency, please call 911 or leave a message at the sound of the tone. Thank you. Hey, Detective Fry, this is Emily Scott. I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you yesterday. I got hammered with a last minute job, but I am looking forward to talking with you tomorrow. Thank you so much for all your help. We open in an hour and a half. I know. I am totally and completely numb. I think we need to move him. Where? In here, until we figure something else out. Uh, can't we just leave it in the refrigerator? Gosh, Emily, I'm pretty sure that would take away from the orchids. Look, why don't we just call the police and get it over with? No, I tried that. They won't believe us. We're gonna be on death row. Yeah, it's okay. It takes years these days. We can appeal. Look, why don't we just call him and tell him it was an accident, okay? We panicked. We didn't know what to do. It was an accident. There's got to be another way. We could always bury the body, pretend like it never happened. You can't be serious. Come on, Em. Is a guy like Peter really going to be missed? Of course, you nutcase. Breathe, girl. Breathe. If you need a paper bag, there's some under the counter. I can't look at him anymore. I think he actually looks better dead. At least there's no smell yet. Oh, I forgot about the smell. Hmm. Ugh. To think I almost went to nursing school. There's still time. Funny. Jeez. Oh, oh my god, he's so fit. Why is he so heavy? I think we're gonna need a bigger carpet. Oh, now you decide to be funny. <sighs> How are we gonna get him up the stairs? I don't know. A little chutzpah? Can we just put him in the van and move him somewhere? I mean, we're gonna have to take him down the stairs in a few hours anyway. Where are we gonna go, Emily? The park? Is it bare your dead day? Besides, he's gonna come down the stairs a lot faster. I just want this over with. Yeah, so do I. But I think we need the cover of darkness, so come on. Up we go. Grab a leg. Are you sure we can trust him? Of course we can. Do you remember how he met Daddy? Yeah, that's what worries me. Secrecy was part of his job, Em. Part of his job. Not sure we want to know the other part. <sighs> right. Why should I be worried? Of course we can trust him. I wonder how Dad would have dealt with this. Probably would have done the same thing, but it wouldn't have been an accident. You think you should be going that fast? We have a dead body in the back. I'm gonna die from all this work. Keep digging. 
this isn't deep enough. Cadaver dogs could still pick up the scent. Hey, where's Suzanne? She's out like a light. A little special tea did the trick. Oh, yeah? We should bury her next. Seal? I'm kidding. Let's go. It's getting late. Oh, it's not deep enough. I told you so. Uh. They have a great chili omelet. I'll pass. You know, chili just doesn't scream breakfast food to me. There's an egg in here. Oh, so important you couldn't just text me. What is it? Isn't this the guy that you were looking at for that bait? Her name is Emily, but yeah, it is. When this come in? This morning. Do we know who Suzanne Hammer is? Apparently, she is his girlfriend. The boys said she went ballistic when they told her that we couldn't do anything right away. So they took her report just to get rid of her. They took a report? Yeah. Uh, I'd say we uh, can open a case now. Maybe. Um, hey, could you do me a favor and cover me at the station for an hour? Don't press your luck with the captain, Bryce. No, I, I won't. I just got a hunch I got to check out. I'll be back soon, all right? Sure thing. Can't wait. I know, baby. I'm so sorry, but we are up to our ears and orders. I promise I will make it up to you next week, though. Okay. I love you, too. Bye, Bunny. How long do you think you can keep him away? Well, he just started a new project, so that should help. Ugh, he's cringing up everything. I can't find a receipt for a funeral order. Okay, okay, look. Why don't we close the shop for another day and it'll give us some extra time to think? Yeah, another day ought to do it. Oh, sorry, we're actually closed. Inventory. I see. Um, is Emily around? Oh my god! Hey. Hi! Oh, let me help you with that. Oh, don't worry about it. Got it. All better. <laughs> <clears throat> Where are my manners? Bryce, this is Seal. That's short for Celia. She's my sister and my business partner. Detective Bryce Fry. What can we help you with? Um, I think I have some interesting information for you. I left you a few messages, but you didn't call me back. Oh, you know, we had a big, big wedding order and I've just been running around, so I was actually about to call you uh, you know what? What exactly do you mean when you say you have some interesting information for us? Peter Mahoney. He is now officially a missing person. Oh, wow. Yeah, that sure is him. Where did you uh, get that picture from? From his girlfriend. Girlfriend, right. Well, missing, hey? Huh. Yes, missing. Uh, when was the last time either of you two saw him? Oh gosh, that, a while ago. At the park, remember? We talked about that, the park. Right, the park. Yeah. Well, I, See, you two are busy, so I'll let you get to it. I'll check back later. Great. Hope you find him. Nice to meet you, Seal. Oh, you too, detective. Really good job, Emily. What did I do? Well, now he's... You know, actually, um, my aunt is in the hospital. I probably uh, should take a look at some flowers. Can I take a peek? Uh, sure, go right ahead. I love your store, by the way. Thank, Thank you. Wow, 
You guys are classy. These don't come cheap. You know, why don't you just go ahead and grab a bouquet? It's on the house. Mm. Isn't this your mother's card? Oh my god, yes. How do you suppose that got in there, Theo? I don't know, that is really weird. You know, we haven't cleaned that out in quite a while, so it's no telling. Well, I would just make sure that account is closed. Yeah, let's do that right away. Thanks for the offer, but uh, it's against the rules, so. She likes candy anyway. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. Bye, detective. So that is your cop. It's kind of cute. He's not my cop. Yeah, but aren't you glad you went to the police? You know, for help. Oh, shut up. Don't blame me. I'm not the one who offered free flowers. Now what are we gonna do? Well, we have to move the body. Again. Oh my god, I wish I were dead. You want a bite? I'll pass. How'd it go? Strange. You tell them about uh, bologna, mahoney? Mahoney. Uh, yeah. Yes, I did tell them. And? Something seems out of kilter. What does that mean, out of kilter? I'm not sure what it means. What about the car? Missing as well. I don't know, maybe it's a female thing. <laughs> Women, right? Gotta love them. Second only to their vaginas. You want my opinion? No. We don't even have a case yet. Why don't you let somebody else handle it? Save your neck. This woman has had a strange effect on you, Bryce. I mean, we have other cases. What about that guy with the koala bear? That was strange. If you want my opinion, just ask for it. You got down. Seal, let her in. <sighs> Thank you. What's the matter? Well, well, Charles hasn't seen him. I haven't seen him. But I think you two know something. I guess he skipped town. Gonna set up something new with someone who's not mentally challenged. You bitch. He wouldn't do that to me. Yes, he would. We killed our mother for all her money, so dumping you would mean nothing. Well, then why is his car parked down the street? You're mistaken. He hasn't been here. Hmm. Well, we'll just see what the police have to say about this. What do you two think about that? It's locked, dumbass. Shit. The car? Well, what are we gonna do? This is just too weird. I can't help but think Mom is up there finishing up some sort of business. Even I don't think that's you. I need a break from reality. Hopefully we're in the middle of one. Are you sure there's another set of keys? Yes, I'm sure. So where are we gonna even put it? I don't know, Emily. It's a black Mercedes Benz. We'll park it in Beverly Hills. No one will notice. Oh, come on. Like, we need to be stopped for texting while driving right now. I'm just trying to tell Justin I'm sorry for standing him up again. Here, you text. Hi, Benny. Mm. Sorry, I'm not gonna make it. I'm stuck at work. 
Lots of flowers. God, we are so dead. Scent. Party in here? I thought we were having a meeting. The prick is dead and buried, and I'm happy as a clam. Well, Suzanne's dead too. What? Yeah, she got hit by a car. It's a big mess. Did you run her over? Of course not. No. Don't, don't worry about it. She was walking bad karma. Okay, look, we have to move Peter. The cops are gonna come digging. He's not safe out there. And there's a matter of some keys. Peter's car is still parked in front of the shop. Are you sure we need to move him? Yes. Yes. Let's go. What is it, Hennessy? Yes, I know. What? Okay, ho hold the fort. I could be there in 10 minutes. All right. This her? Yes, it is. What the hell? This happened in front of their flower shop. I think it's time I had a chat with her. You, you think? Are you sure it's safe? Yeah, Eric and I used to come during high school. No one's out there. You mean Derek? Eric, Derek, whatever. It's the same thing. Well, how do you know they haven't built, like, houses on it or something? I don't, but it's not like it's Lake Tahoe. I can't imagine a sign that says the state's at last virgin lake. Forgot that. Las Virginis. What was the catchphrase again? <laughs> Arrive hole, leave a hoe. You okay, Charles? Oh, yeah. Right as rain. Say a few words or something? Yeah, how about goodbye? Let's get out of here. I need to talk to you. What? I need to talk to you. About what? Go to the door. Wait, Emily, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 you can't just barge in here. Do you have a warrant? A warrant? I just want to talk to Emily. I actually want to talk to you too. I'm not talking to you. Don't talk to him. It's okay, Seal. Emily, we're family. He's not. We have to tell him. Not without a lawyer present. You need a lawyer? I have to tell him. He's all we have. Don't worry, Seal, it's gonna be okay. Fine, it's just our funeral. Can we sit down and talk a sec? Sure. I'm sure you know by now that Mr. Mahoney has a dead girlfriend? Yeah, it's awful. It happened really close to here, right? Emily, it happened right in front of the shop, right here. I think you can be a little more 
forthcoming with me. Right outside the shop. Oh my god. My whole life is falling apart. I'm gonna fry in the electric chair. We don't use the electric chair anymore. Oh? She was very angry. She came into the shop and she made a scene and then she left in a huff. She didn't even see the car. It was horrible. Are you gonna take us in? Did you run her over? No, of course not. You're the second person to ask that. Then why didn't you call the police? I don't know. I guess we were just in shock and I saw other people calling them. Do you want me to tell you what I found out about Mr. Mahoney? Of course. Okay, so I told you before he was married back in New Jersey. Well, he was married before that, and both women died the same way your mom did, and they both had lots of cash. So, I really need to find out where he is. Well, that might be a little hard to do. And why is that? Well, he's a little bit indisposed currently. Indisposed. Uh, by any chance, does that mean that at an earlier time he was um, expired and potentially in that refrigerator over there? The car that we found, it was uh, your mom's account, but it was his card, huh? It really was an accident. It's not gonna sound like it was, but it was. Dan, he came in here, he was threatening us the whole time. He knew I was asking questions about his past. And then there was this glass. And- What glass? It's hard to explain. You know, he grabbed me and I kicked him and then he grabbed a seal. And seal had poured this pure nicotine into a glass. It was eating through a paper cup. He thought there was booze in the glass. So what, he, he drank the nicotine? Yeah, now you're getting the idea. Wow. <laughs> Did he have a weapon on him or anything? No. Well, he didn't when we buried him. What? Oh, Emily, why didn't you call me? Why, why didn't you just call the police? I don't know. I honestly don't. I mean, when he fell over, he ripped the phone out of the wall and Seal's cell phone was in the apartment and then you called and I just thought I would sound nuts. <sighs> So I really did kill somebody, didn't I? Uh, did you have a gun to his head when he drank the nicotine? No, of course not. Then technically you didn't kill anybody. Uh, <laughs> you just kind of uh, helped. Uh, it's probably manslaughter, but um, what I think the prudent thing to do at this juncture would be for you to um, take me to the body and then we'll go from there. <laughs> right, well, that too will be a challenge. I, I probably shouldn't even ask, should I? I will, uh, I'll admit it, I'm intrigued. You've never asked me to meet in such a clandestine way before. Well, you yourself said that we had not opened a case yet. Okay, now I know what this is about. I need a big favor. It's not gonna land me in prison, will it? It might. No, no, I was joking when I said that. I'm just being a little dramatic. No, you're never dramatic. What's the favor? 
You wouldn't happen to own a snorkel, would you? Are you sure this is a spot? Yeah, I think so. How'd you weigh the body down? Huh. Detective? Yeah. I think these are really going to help your case. Huh. Thanks, Seal. Sure. Hey, guys. Yeah. What is it? If it isn't Detective Fry, back from the dead. Huh? Uh, uh, we, we know where you were early this morning. You do? You shouldn't have. Shouldn't have what? <laughs> Come on. I, but uh, I, look, look at this. I just Look at this. I mean, Detective Fry, you are the best. No one else remembered it as my 10th anniversary, but you did. Chocolate cake. <laughs> That's my favorite. Hey, how'd you know? Hey. Uh, I'm a detective. Nice of you to show up. <laughs> all right, Hennessy. Let's agree. I definitely owe you one. No, it's all in a day's work. But you do owe me. Yeah, yeah. How'd it feel doing a day's work? It was weird. It was like, I don't do nice things for people. I want you to have everything you need, okay? I'm really excited about being an aunt. You're gonna be an aunt in prison, <laughs> and my daughter... Hey, lots of famous people were born in prison. Don't worry about it. At least you'll have a guy waiting for you when you get out. We'll see. Hennessy and Bryce are still walking the beat. Bryce isn't too happy about it. Yeah, but there's no chance in hell he's not gonna be here when you get out. He really threw himself under the bus for you. For the both of us, as a matter of fact. I'm sure Justin's gonna be there too. I'm not too sure about that. But you know what? There are a lot of really hot babes walking around here. Ha ha. We got another letter from Charles. Really? What did he say? Did he tell you where he was? No, of course not. I sure hope he wasn't serious when he said he was looking for Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. I just hope he's happy. What do you think about that sleazy producer's offer? I guess if they make it into a good movie and not one of those after-school specials, I'm okay. What about you? Just want to say in casting. That's not going to happen. And I can kiss my ass. 